You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, what is up and welcome to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio. I'm your host, Denny Mussolini, and we have a very special guest, so you definitely want to uh, stick around for that. Oh yeah. Um... But uh, yeah, so we will be uh, talking with this guest about different things of uh, the music industry, his art, his life, and all the in-betweens that you guys like to hear about and that we like to uh, ask about, you know? So that's what we'll do. That is our objective. That is my only job for tonight is <laughs> to do that. And uh, I guess I will execute that. But anyway, um, life's life is a teacher you know do you remember uh ever having a really great teacher in school someone who inspired you to learn and to do your best if so you probably recall that he or she challenged you to a much greater degree than most of your other teachers at the time uh the challenge may have seemed unfair or even cruel yet looking on looking back on it, you realize that it was not cruel at all but rather um, a true respect, uh, expression of respect, you know, for the confidence in your ability to learn and grow because they chose you to, you know, solve the problem or tackle the project, you know. Life outside of school has its great teachers too, and the best ones often seem unfair, unkind, and even brutal sometimes. Those teachers include disappointment, sorrow, confusion, loneliness, and frustration. They are all painful and yet some of our greatest learning and growth can come from them. They challenge us and compel us to reach higher. They help to reveal our true character and by so doing build that character to be even stronger. At Miss Despair, Take Heart, a loving and caring teacher is even now working to bring out the best in you. Though it is impossible to fully appreciate now, the day will come when you surely will be able to look back and reflect on the lesson being learned. I mean, of course, every um, heartbreak, and disappointment, sorrow, confusion, loneliness, and frustration is, is not a um, it's not an easy thing to carry around. But once you reach that pinnacle and you're able to look back on those reflections and say, hey, you know, I really needed that because it either shaped me, shaped me uh, to who I am or it equipped me for the next time something like this tries to happen, you know. So take this and every opportunity to learn and grow. Take that from me, Dini Mussolini. That is my word and word is but. You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo, hello and welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Music or Inside the Book. Inside the business where we dive into the minds of the people who create marvelous things. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. So one time, one time for my people who are indigos, crystalline, or star seeds, or for my vigilantes audience family. And two times for my people who are vegetarian or vegans. If you're like me, we are averaging over 37,000 live listeners, and we've been at this for four solid years. I appreciate all you guys who've been rocking with the kids. 
did on this journey and we are still evolving baby it is all because of you most definitely we are the people who have dedicated their lives to music spirituality business literature art movies and research in every aspect and we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story man we've had celebrities on our show from grammy award winning artists to nominees to actors comedians ceos technology geniuses visual artists from authors to professors and aliens or people think they're aliens it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from come on our show and talk to me so check it out to book your interview or just to share a real cool story email me at v radio at only one media group.com and that's v as in victor i'm passionate about what i do just as passionate about what you do and together Yes, together, we can get your voice heard by the people who should hear it. So let's create something incredible. You know the number to dial. 701-801-9813. Text that number to your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests. Or you can hop in the mix directly from our website, onlyonemediagroup.com. Right from the homepage, you can slap that go live button and you'll be right here live in the mix and in the chat room with all of us us feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here but only as time permits sometimes my guests and i talk entirely too much and we take up the entire hour and as always all episodes are available for free download and you can grab that from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes youtube or any app from the google play or itunes store or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we ever aired Imagine being paid for using social media. WebTalk is changing the way we connect and get paid. WebTalk is the social media platform that pays you. With WebTalk, you can promote and manage all your social media sites from one place. It includes features like user search, media galleries, referral tracking, magic news feed, meet video chat, classifieds, and much, much more. WebTalk is booming with over 4 million users. Manage, connect, engage, get paid. No matter why you network, you can do it better with WebTalk. Web Talk. You can connect with your friends, colleagues, and the world. Use Web Talk to consolidate, organize, and syndicate everything. Imagine your perfect networking app. You will find it with Web Talk. It's time to take back control of you. Web Talk is the best free way to communicate and create success. To learn more, visit myfreewebtalk.com. That's myfreewebtalk.com. All right, all right. Welcome back to the show. You are listening to Vigilantes Radio Podcast. And I am your host, Dino Mussolini. Our very special guest for tonight, because it is prime time, prime time, baby. He goes by the name of Leo Omari. So we'll have an absolute blast, you know, checking him out and seeing what insights he has to offer me and you and uh, everyone else who is listening. And if you are, are a uh, grumpy curmudgeon who believes all hope is lost on today's youth then you need to tune in old head you know not only is he making incredible skillful and intensified music but his uh his enthusiastic and humble spirit will hopefully inspire you to get your own asses out of bed and get to the studio to push the record button his positive attitude and willingness to make this the rest of his life, his dedication and continue to practice learning more and more and more have all certainly inspired me. All right. This is an artist I am truly proud to have on our show at such a point um, in his career. And I have no doubt in my mind that we will have a chance to hear his work one day in all kinds of different ways, you know, like soundtracks, movies, televisions, video games, you name it or even right from your car stereo and i think you can do that now by catching him on spotify or itunes yeah you can go ahead and make that a reality uh for sure and it's the kind of music that uh that has a time and place almost everywhere for everyone so how's that for a good old a good old introduction from your good old music industry insider denny mussolini all right so that's enough of me um cheating and chattering and uh i believe it's time to dive in let's go ahead and welcome our special guest to the show leo what is going on you're now live in the midst with all of us how are you doing what's up 
How you doing? How you doing? Doing great, man. Glad to have you with us tonight, man. How are you making it in this whole quarantine thing? Hey, man, look, I've been staying inside, keeping yeah. people away, making sure I'm washed up, hands cleaned, and all that good stuff. <laughs> for sure. How for you sure. been holding up? Man, holding this, up? the same, the same. Um, taking the time to just, you know, have reflection, uh, to be creative, uh, to get a lot of things done. <laughs> I mean, sure. Take take this, man, Leo. Like life is always moving, is always busy. Especially growing up, now you realize where all the time goes. It's because we have a lot of things going on, and um, yeah. now we're forced to sit still. And it's like, yo, I really do have a lot of time to, uh, you know, play with. Is is how I choose to invest it. So I think a lot of times we fall into the thing of where we always tell people, oh, I ain't got time to do that, when we really do because we are the managers of our time, you know. I spend a lot of time in the day, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I spend a lot of time on Call of Duty Mobile. You use it for. <laughs> and, you know, we do have the time, man. So that that's my exactly. whole thing during this. It all depends on what you use it for. That's time. right. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's, been, that's been my thing with the quarantine, just learning and uh using these uh things that i've learned and hopefully any new hobbies you pick up with anything uh yeah man i got a little green thumb now i've planted some vegetables and some sunflowers and you know here we go my girl likes those so i planted her a bunch and yeah yeah sweet man i've been i've been going green too yeah i yeah. feel like i'm uh i've been studying dr sebi so, oh, yeah. oh yeah, exactly. So, yep, but he better than doing a fast right now. Uh, okay, build that immune system up. Yeah, man, health is wealth. Sure. Hey, on that note, don't you find it like weird? I may not even weird, just outright, you know, wrong. To live healthy, it costs way more than to live. Uh, you know, unhealthy. man. Oh man, I was just having that uh, talk with my best friend. Yeah, me and my brother went to the store. Man, we spent over three hundred dollars on a little bit of food, and it was all healthy stuff. I said, yeah. "Oh my goodness, yeah, man. they cracking heads." <laughs> they cracking heads. And you know, they make it so convenient nowadays. You know, there's so many dollar menus and quick fast food that's, in less than five minutes. That's what I was about to say. And the Wendy's doing the little four for four, so it makes yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. it easier for you to grab that. Yep. It's cheaper and it's like faster to grab and just go. Yeah, man. I've been a vegan for some years. And uh, you know, Sweet. I'm tempted. Yeah, I'm tempted to like, man, this is comparing my <laughs> this economical thing, you know. A cheeseburger may sound feasible. <laughs> Man, I, but, uh, I have to yeah. stop eating red meat. I'm a pescatarian. Okay, okay. Yeah. Dope, dope. Uh, yeah. I'm on my way to becoming a vegan, vegetarian, all that good stuff. Definitely. All right. Well, we, we definitely could, you know, hang out and go to some restaurants. For sure. This is kind For of sure. hard. You got to teach me a little bit, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little hard when you have friends who are not into that lifestyle and they want to go eat pork. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's for them, and uh, you know that's what they like. So. Uh-huh. All right, man. Let's go ahead and and dive into who you are, man. And uh, we're, we're definitely, yeah, we're definitely excited to have you. Uh, someone with your talents to take out some time to talk to little old me. Uh, I've been listening to you. Thank uh, you, my guy. Lately. Yeah, man, and learning about your music through the week. Um, but for the people who uh, haven't had a chance to uh, do what I did, um, how would you personally describe your music? My music, I feel like I started off with like a lot of pain, mm. so you felt it through my music. But now I feel like I'm at a point to where it's like, I'm still implementing that pain, but it's like real versatile, but I'm I'm giving that up-tempo beat now. So I'm making club bangers, radio bangers, things of that nature. Just more of like what people, I feel like what they would want to hear if you get what I mean. Yeah. 
pain. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. To me, man. I'm sometimes. telling you, look, I'm the I'm the artist that you shouldn't get made because <laughs> you gonna hear it in my song for real. <laughs> mm, mm. For real, man. Don't but you know, man. Sometimes I believe pain makes the best music because it's, sure. it's, it's coming from a real, real place. You know. Exactly. So, what kind of pain are are you uh, necessarily? writing about in my life I had a lot of pain so I'm speaking from like struggle pains mm -hmm. I'm talking about music industry pains oh. pains and losing people yeah music industry pain it's crazy but I'm losing people cutting people off things of that nature people double crossing me stuff like that yeah yeah well, that's definitely pain there. Man, it's a lot of pain. <laughs> yeah. So, I know uh, a lot of men don't ask each other this, but how are you with, with managing your pain? And how is it affecting your uh, your mental health? I would say I'm good now, but I can definitely say I was somebody who was going through depression. Yeah. yeah. Depression. Because, like, I was at a certain point. I was at a point where it's like, I ain't know what I was doing. I was just, I don't know. I felt like a zombie, man. Mm. For real. That's the best way I can explain it. Like a zombie, like just going through the day, not feeling nothing through, but, but sad inside. Yeah. And do we get a glimpse of that in your music? You that definitely get a glimpse of that. That empty feeling? For sure. Nothingness? Yeah. For sure. Cool, man. I mean, what what gives you the courage to sing about things like that or write about things like that? Um, I would basically say that's music is my therapy. So that's how I was able to actually pass that stage I was at. So it's like. I I always had to tell my friends, like, if you hear me talking about a situation that we went through in a song, don't be mad because I'm just trying to release that energy because I don't want to feel that same way I felt towards you, towards anybody else. So don't feel no type of way, but I'm just letting out that energy and that pain so I won't feel that way. Yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, music is my therapy, my therapist. Yeah, I like this stuff. Yeah, man, I'm feeling like Oprah right now. Like I'm leaning in, I have my wig on. Let me get in my Oprah bag here. But nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. But that's great, man. Um, that you're not balling up those emotions because you could implode and explode one day, and we don't want to see that. But I definitely was like that too. Really? really? Yeah. I got a song where I'm basically saying I'm like a vault when it comes to the pain. Yeah. And it feel like I'm drowning too. So it's like music actually gave me that outlet. Mind you, I have, sp I have like family I talk to. I'm very family oriented so I can speak to certain people. But it still ain't the same of releasing that energy through the music. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's dive deep for a moment again let's go. Say, hey, like how deep are we gonna get again <laughs> but uh nah, we good let's go yeah let's talk about that uh that beginning moment for you you know that first word on the page the first time you are an engineer hit the record button and that first mm -hmm. word came out uh start us right there man that moment uh i started off rapping and what it I can say, <laughs> what I can say about that man, I was terrible. What? I was, I was trash, man. <laughs> I was, listen, I was terrible. My friends, they, I knew they ain't believe in my stuff, but they would still prove me on, man. But yeah. I started off as trash, but then I just kept grinding and consistency. That's why I live by that word consistency, because where I'm at now. You would never thought I was I would have made it to this yeah. point where I first started at. All right. 
What about rap names? Um, were you always known as Leo Amore? I wasn't. I went through, uh, before Leo Amore, I went through two different names. Uh, Lil Dane and Famous Dane. Mm. And then Leo Amore. Yeah. <laughs> cool deal. Man, them names had to go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So what was the whole like pivotal moment for you to, you know, change your music style, change your name, you know, and, and kind of head on this path that you're on now? What was your question again? Say it again. Yeah, I said, uh, what was, when was that pivotal moment, you know, that uh, you realize Oh, I won't say that you realize. Well, that you begin to head in the direction that you are in now, as far as like the name change go, the uh, the texture and style of your music. That pivotal. I would say, yeah, I would say once I left this group I was in, mm. I was in the group. Once I got out of the group, I was I was super lost. I could say I was really lost because I'm like, man, where do I go from here? Yeah, I'm used to being in the group, so it's like I'm starting over from square one. So I remember at this one point I was just making like five to seven songs a day, just mm. grinding, knocking songs out, 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 and that's why I like I'm at the point where I'm at to where I can do like any genre, rock, country, but I was just grinding, man. Yeah. And I just kept going and then like I eventually grew into the sound where I'm at now man that's dope yeah so who are some of your influences uh, when you when you are writing and recording music my favorite artist is Lil Wayne uh, that boy <laughs> and I feel like that's where I get a lot of my versatility from to where I could do like different genres because I was on Lil Wayne heavy yeah yeah can we hear hits of Lil Wayne like hints of Lil Wayne in your music you could definitely hear hints of <laughs> <laughs> I actually um, pay homage to him on my new album called Mud on the Moon on the first song yeah it's called Welcome yep the intro definitely so what's pay currently my boy I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. I said I pay homage to my boy. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So what kind of drives you now to uh, continue on this music journey? I feel like at this point, it's mainly about how much I sacrifice to get to where I am. I sacrificed a lot. And when I say sacrifice, I mean like not working, mm, yeah. sleeping on the floor. <clears throat> going through a lot of physical not phys mental abuse from when I back was in the group things of that nature and just still pushing through yeah Man. so it's like I feel like I can't let the people get the best yeah. I've been doing this for too long I'm sacrificed too much so I just gotta keep going cause I, I gotta prove not them that they was wrong but more of I was right if you get me mm -hmm. I gotta prove myself I was right that I was I went wrong for just staying up late at night and waking up early in the morning doing the same thing over and over yeah yeah making it count for sure how important are lyrics to you lyrics man that's that's the that's the meat of it all I feel like lyrics and melodies a lot of people nowadays they don't even listen to the lyrics though they just listen to the melodies but yeah you gotta be fire on the lyrics yeah I always thought so yeah <laughs> but uh you have some artists what you, man, what you feel to... what you feel like when you listen to music what you listening to more like uh, is it the lyrics is it the melody is it the beat what you listen to um, I mean a as an artist myself uh, the lyrics are, are always first um, and then I listen second to how well 
that the lyrics are mesh with the melody of uh, the record, you know, and uh, how how uh, textured and structured the artist has been with this craft and creative. So uh, I'm, I'm a little sure. more, yeah, I'm a little more mechanical with it uh, because I'm an artist as well. Uh, when I listen, but uh, yeah, man, like the listening experience is is the most important thing uh, as as a fan of art, you know. Um, so when we listen to Leo Amari, like, and we close our eyes, what do you hope that we will feel when we listen to your music? If somebody closed their eyes, listen to my music, I want them to feel that same pain or vibe that I was at that moment. And it's like all of my music is different in a sense but you can still feel that same vibe in it so I just want to feel that same pain that's it yeah yeah yeah. and this may be a tough question man but um, listening back on your records to your songs do they ever you know uh, do they ever catch you man in a moment where you're vulnerable and you know tears start flowing because maybe something hasn't healed and you're 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 singing about it. Your you're, your your lyrics are only you get your lyrics because that's what you went through. For sure. Yeah. Um, I think it was one time I had a little tear drop down my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on an album that I haven't released yet. But okay. Yeah, I definitely was at a vulnerable spot. And with this album, I was staying at my manager's house. Yeah, I was tucked off in the basement. It was dark, and I just had my blue light. I got a famous blue light that I always put on. It set the mood for me. Yeah, and I was just doing, making song after song, day by day. And yeah, I can't wait to release that album, man. But yeah, I think that album made me drop a tear. Man, when are we gonna get that album? I don't know. I want. I want to do it right. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. I want to do it right. I got a lot of albums, man. I got like over five, six hundred songs. Jeez. So it's like I got albums on albums, but this one, this one album, that's my baby. So I want to put it out when I feel it's right. Yeah, man. So let me ask you about what's on your playlist right now that uh, that's inspiring you to create more. Hmm. Um. I honestly don't even listen to music like that, but like a couple of the artists that I listen to now was like Roddy Rich, okay. Rod Waves, Tory Lanez. It's a new upcoming artist named Tusi. Uh, I just listened to the new Drake album today. So yeah, I like listening to stuff like that. Yeah. What do you think about Drake's album? I like it. I I don't know if it's an album or mixtape, but it feel like it was all over the place. But every song was a banger, if you get what I mean. Yeah. So I feel like it was more of a mixtape vibe, but it was still good. Cool deal. Yeah, yeah. that boy Drake. I don't think he can miss. Yeah, man. He's he's a he's a special kind. And all that hard work that he put in. Yeah, man, he's a he's a special kind. He came out swinging. For sure. Well, I don't, I wouldn't say that because there was a point where he wasn't hitting anything. I don't, I don't even know if you remember this district, but he sounded like uh, Jay Z. Uh, nah, I don't know. I might gotta dive back in and. Yeah, th this is that great. <laughs> this is before that uh that uh that first mixtape um. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Um, so far, so gone, something like that. This is yeah, way so far gone. Yeah, so far gone. This is way before that. This is before Wheezy. Oh yeah, I gotta check it out then. You yeah. What yeah. album was it? Or like mixtape? I forgot the know. name of it. Uh, but yeah, he sounds like Jay Z. Straight up missing everything. He got his lyrics. <laughs> His lyricalness from though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, his evolution has been incredible, man. 
I remember at one point, man, everybody was playing with Drake. With Drake, he been that guy. Yeah, yeah. He been that guy. Definitely can say that. So, um, if someone offered you like soundtrack work, you know, there's a there's a new movie coming out, and they want a song from you, um, would you have to know? the basis of the movie like what it stood for the meaning or would you just take the opportunity because it's a huge opportunity I feel like with me it's a little bit more of the background so I will want to know that information so I can bring it out in the song but I would definitely take that opportunity I need another royalty check <laughs> yeah man another voice you can check but I feel like I would definitely need to know the information behind it though right kind of help you shape the record yeah exactly so man with the whole COVID uh, 19 and all that's going on right now did you have to move around any show dates any uh, press dates man I was about to go on tour man I had to oh, actually man. postpone it yeah, I was featured on someone's tour, so we just had to postpone everything. Man, that's awful. But I told my label I still wanted to drop the album. Yeah. So that's what we did. Mud on the moon, baby. Right on. Yeah. How did you sure. celebrate this release? Shit again. How did you celebrate the release? I was in the house, had my family, and we took a shot. <laughs> Right. We took a shot, man. Yeah. Um, we ain't do too much of nothing. We can't do too much of nothing. Yeah, yeah. True that. Yeah. All right. Guys, are y'all ready for some music? We have Leo Amari with the song Plug Love, and we'll be right back. So stay tuned in. Here it goes. Yeah, sure. To the summer walk, gotta fall in for a tug. Ain't really looking for love. Love my money, I'm just trying to get it back. Like a joggers for the summer, the wind in my clip for the bubble. Me and my brother were trapping. We had to sell us a package. Stuff in the piece in the attic. Once it's said, then it's gone automatic. We took a flight out of Cali. Locking the numbers for Valley. Got a white girl and a black girl. Got me tweaking in the valley. She said she loved me. Back in high school, she ain't in one from. How could you doubt me? I moved on, I moved on to your body. Call me hobby. Remember when you ain't there, really wanna hug me? Got you above me, like oh, all you remember. Yeah. I can make you wilder, cause I'm doing better. Just me when I'm mad, she go me if I let her. She thinks she's clever, cause I'm doing better. Looks can only get to as far as I'm gonna let so, Keep it on the hush, I got you screaming out my name. Now your standards way too damn high.
All right, all right. Welcome back to the show. This is Vigilantes Radio Podcast, and you just got finished listening to Leo Amari with the song Plug Love. What an incredible record. Oh my goodness, I want to just I, I wanted to just hit replay on that. I love the vibe, man. The uh the Sonic Avengers that he he, he led us on. Man, some truly wicked wicked textures there. Yo. That was a hot joint. He definitely. So we have the links to that um in the description of this episode. So yeah, uh jump on Spotify right now, hit the follow button on your man Leo Amari and make sure you add that song to your playlist we've done it I hope you guys do it too all right bright days what could possibly be more astonishing than a sunrise the display itself is magnificent beyond belief and yet it goes virtually unnoticed by millions each day what you guys don't know what you're missing beyond that uh, the meaning of the sunrise is even more spectacular because it hurls a dawn of a new day, a day filled with more possibilities. In a vast expanse of nothingness, the sun's which uh, lights our every day is the only source of warmth and light within trillions of miles. Like even thinking about that kind of blows my mind, you know, the cosmos and all, but the distance to the next closest star we cannot even comprehend, much less traverse in a thousand lifetimes. And yet, here we are, warm, bright, full of life and energy. The sun appears around the horizon each morning and makes all of that possible. When you find yourself ready to complain about what you don't have, stop for a moment to consider what incredible things you do have. Especially if you woke up today. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, if you haven't had a chance yet this week, uh, the week is ending. What's today? Thursday? Yeah. Friday starts in a, in about 8, 9, 10 hours from now. And uh, try to catch the sunrise, you know. Make sure you're looking at the horizon and watch it. And then reflect. If you meditate, you know, reflect on uh, your life. And uh, the things that you do have, the things that you will have because of your persistence, your hard work. And yeah, just take it all in and resolve to make the most of it. Take that from me, Dina Mussolini. That is my word and word is bomb. But for right now, let's bring back the man of the moment, Leo Amari. You're back live with us. Hot record, man. Yes, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know how you did it. You're in your, uh, you're in your bag there for real. Uh, well, I didn't know how you did it, man. You're super skilled and talented. Yeah, man. Thank you, that's my definitely guy. that's definitely a hit, bro. I love it. That plug, love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, All right, man. Go. Before we. Oh yeah, 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 man. Uh, before we let you go, though, uh, let everyone know where they can connect with you online and where they can grab the song. Sure, uh, y'all can follow me on all my social sites at It's Leo Mari, I T S L E O A M A R I. And on all platforms, you can find me at Leo Mari, Spotify, Google Play, Pandora. I got my own radio station, all that good stuff. Dope. Make sure y'all listen to that mud on the moon, baby. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, right, man. Sir. Yeah, I appreciate you, man, for uh, taking out some time and chatting with old Denny, man, about your music, your life, and, you know, diving in deep, you know, letting us do our little Oprah moment there. <laughs> for sure, man. Thank you for having me, big dog. <laughs> Most definitely, man. Well, stay safe, wear a mask, man, and you be blessed uh, 2020 and beyond. Come on. All right. Thank you. My Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab that from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, any app that's on a Google Play or iTunes store or our website. And that goes from every single episode that we've ever aired. If you'd like to request music or a particular guest or send something for me to play, email it to V radio at only one media group.com. 
if it's music, please label it by artist and title. Here's my disclaimer. We are genre free. We do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay, but facts alone. And actually, you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right. That's the bottom line. This is my show. So deal with it. <laughs> nah, just kidding. On behalf of myself, Danny Mussolini, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, as well as Spricker. We always follow back. That is the number one rule. Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely great at just doing that. Avoid being too comfortable because you're messing with your potential when you do that. Peace and have a good night. And now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds, of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive.